Let me pull up a photo of uh, crop perspective. Now I took this in New York and it looked kind of like funky because it looks like the building's leaning a little bit. So here we go. Go into crop. Down here you have three different options. Down below the actual crop tool in the bottom left hand corner it says perspective crop tool. Now what it does is it doesn't do anything at first. I'm like, what is it? Why isn't it selecting something? But you have to go in there and see this in the upper left hand corner. You will click and drag. Okay, just click and drag. Then you can go to each individual nodes in the corners there. And I'm going to go ahead and follow this line. Let's see, let's pull it out a little bit here. See the end of the building over here? I'm just kind of lining it up with that end. And then I'm also going to line it up with this in on this building too. So it's going to be kind of, just going to pull it out just a little bit down here. So I'm lining it up with the edge of this building on the left hand side and then also with this, click on commit current operation and then it will kind of straighten everything out. So I believe they have that in Photoshop. I seem to remember that. God, it's been like 10 years since I used Photoshop, but I'm pretty sure they had that in Photoshop. Um, they but do, but this is a lot easier. A lot easier, yeah. So that is a cool new feature as well. And then you just go ahead and save it, and you're good to go.